So hi all, welcome back to the uh, Managing People and Organization uh, lesson. Today I'm going to discuss on the planning and goal setting strategies of organizations. Now, if you look at, uh, at the very beginning of this course, we discussed about the planning and goal setting and uh, you know, uh, there were so many functions, or let's say basically there were four functions of management known as planning, organizing, leading and controlling. So later we added another layer of staffing and also uh, we had uh, five basic functions known as planning, organizing, staffing, leading and controlling. Right, so today we are going to discuss on the planning and goal setting of an organization and how it happens and what is the importance of it as well as uh, the strategies to implement uh, in planning and goal setting as well as uh, you know planning for long term and so on and so forth things. Right, so we'll first get to know uh, and goals and plans. What do you mean by goals? Goals are some of the desired future outcomes or conditions which the organization wants to realize. Right, some of the outcomes. Yeah, when we were discussing on the vision and mission, we discussed about the vision. So a status or a state where an organization expect to become in some future date. Right, that is the overall vision. So we said that uh, all the goals and objectives and all the strategies which are made by the organizations are made based on the vision and the mission. Right. So goals are some of the outcomes, or let's call them as the individual outcomes of uh, whatever the ways to achieve the mission and to achieve the vision. So desired future outcomes or conditions which are known to uh, in organization wants to realize are known as the uh, goals. And when it comes to the plans, of course, those are the blueprints of the goals achievement, right? So goals are basically desired future outcomes. So blueprint of uh, achieving the desirable outcomes are known as plans, which describes and decides on the schedules and tasks and resource allocations basically that comes under the uh, organizing of activities right so goal setting and planning is a must to achieve the uh, vision of an organization or to uh, you know ultimately achieve whatever the uh, stages of the organization right so there are different levels of uh, management we discussed right Basically, there were three managers levels, right? Uh, known as top management, middle management, and lower level management, or known as the frontline management. So uh, we discussed about them in our first lessons. Now here, when it comes to the planning and goal setting stages, we can see uh, there are four types of uh, plans which are implemented in uh, organizations as per their goals and things. So the first one is like, uh, if you look at the top here, you can see the mission statement or it's called somewhere here you have the vision right the ultimate objective to become and mission statement where you implement right now to come to this mission statement what you need is you need goals and plans to achieve right when it comes to this level we call these two levels as your senior managerial or top managerial or strategic level right here in the middle we call it as a tactical level or we call it as a functional level management right and you have operational levels or frontline managers here in this case now how it happens in the case of goal setting and planning as well as implementation stages you can see those are made by the corporate or known as the senior or let's call them as the top management of the company you know considering this whole organization as a one right so that is what we known as goal setting in the senior level managers that is what we known as strategic goals known as the goals which are giving an overall influence over the overall organization right that is a massive influence giving on the overall organization then coming to the tactical goals we call them as the functional goals those are basically like to uh, increase the profit uh, margins of organization or to achieve the marketing uh, objectives of organization or else to uh, uh, downsize the cadre of the organization right those are known as tactical low the goal plans or known as middle level management plans or known as uh, let's call them as a functional level plans right so operational levels are basically the day-to-day -day life or let's say the department plans right operational goals and plans lower management levels now what happens is once they decided from here they tend to implement their mission statement through the strategic goals 
and those are influenced over the tactical goal operations where the tactical goals are made based on the strategic goals then after they uh, ask the you know down management or let's say uh, the first line managers to implement them so accordingly the first line managers will create another set of goals known as uh, let's call them as you know uh, uh, daily sort of schedules of work so then they will implement it now in the other way once they have implemented it so that will be implementing the tactical goals made by the middle level managers and accordingly the next level will be automatically implemented the strategic goals where the strategic managers will be able to achieve their whatever the uh, goals and uh, objectives and the plans which are mentioned under the mission statement and finally the overall organization will achieve the vision of the organization this is how it happens now this will take a long run right now strategic goals are basically the long run goals right because they are, those are like uh, those are affecting on the overall organization as well as tactical goals are known as you know semi uh, let's say uh, semi long or let's say uh, you know mid term sort of uh, uh, goals but when it comes to operational goals those are very uh, you know short term goals right then coming back to the organizational planning process if you look at the planning whatever we discussed in our mpo sessions planning is almost like you know uh, to to define on the vision mission and things like that now in the planning case we basically develop the plan where the organizational planning process starts from developing the plan where you define vision mission and objectives and goals of your overall organization right so in overall organization in the sense by the uh, superior or the senior management they will define on the overall objectives and overall organizational goals so the functional level managers will do their level i mean uh, the, the functional level goals or department level goals and the operational level people will do the operational uh, uh, managerial goal determinations and things like that so anyway the development of the plans are happening at the first phase of organizational planning process so then the plan will translate into an action in the second level where they are having the detailed sort of uh, you know the tactical plans they, these the the corporate plans will be uh, you know translated uh, into the tactical plans known as you know the practical as well as uh, those who, those comply the daily schedules and things like that and those deals with the you know contingencies or the exigencies and the different scenarios in the business right and then uh, the next one is plan for the operations now rather you plan you better you implement the operations right so through your plan you implement the operations that is planning for the operations where uh, you will define on the operational objectives and goals you try to measure the operational objectives by implementing them and also uh, work related objectives will be defined in this stage right and then the fourth one is execute that is the operationalizing of the plan right so uh, you can use mbo uh, that is management by objectives or even you can use the performance dashboards to review the things right you can use the pece cycle plan to check act here as well as you can uh, uh, you know delegate the authority and responsibility right departmentalization happens so executive execute the plan right then finally monitor learn and evaluate basically monitor evaluate and learn right you have to monitor the performance you have to make the correction activities if there's anything which is going wrong so that is called monitor evaluation and correction of course should be there in in pdca cycle we say plan do check act right in check and act model uh, is applying here at the monitor uh, evaluate and learn stage and you must also can do some of the new developments let's say r and d happens here research and development happens here where you identify some of the things to be improved some of the areas to be improved and you will uh, do your next planning stage accordingly so this is a never ending process where it starts from develop the plan second you translate the plan into the action and third you plan the operations and fourth you execute the plan in real and fifth is you monitor the uh, plan process whether it's happening actually uh, as per the uh, whatever the standards you made at the planning and you learn things and you will improve the next plan right and then we here we discuss about the strategy map what do you mean by that now that 
shows you the crucial effects of uh, you know the organization's uh, management relationship the, the the relationship among the management levels and the factors right so strategy map is a cause and effect mis uh, representation of an organization which facilitates the management to see the relationship among the factors for the long term success right that shows you how the uh, strategies how the objectives how the different levels of goals uh, which are known as the you know the, the different uh, planning and goal settings by the different levels are connected in order to achieve your overall objective right in long run that is what you call as strategic map if you look at this map you can see financial customer transformation people and processes are divided right so they are having their own departmentalizing uh, departmental goals where you have the pathways to achieve them in a way in order to achieve the organization earnings before interest and taxes here right the according to the example the earnings before interest and taxes is uh, to to make it uh, 90 million dollars you can achieve that through these types of things through these functional areas right transformation you can meet operational budget uh, of this much and you know educate all the managers on new hiring processes where you make the hr functions like people and process functions right and how you can influence over the customer is like reduce the time to hire from eight to six weeks right and then financially you can reduce the cost of hire by 14 percent per hire and then you go for that right so this is how it happens okay so these are like uh, all the lines all the levels of your organization are uh, you know connected to each other where you are achieving uh, oh, and uh, whenever you are planning your objectives as well right so whenever you define on your own goals and objectives especially the objectives should be smart in other words there are five criteria that they should be aligned to now whenever you define on your effective goals whenever you measure your effective goals to be make it make your goals effective you must uh, comply this uh, this smart framework where you must uh, you should be able to uh, create your goals according to the uh, and you know those should be comply the smart model where smart from smart you can see s is for specific and concise m for measurable a for achievable r for related and t for time frame now whenever you decide on your goals you can see the goals should be specific right that should be distinct or let's say those should be specific to the point like what exactly is the project about what exactly is your um, uh, is your uh, uh, operation is about right and those should be measurable now the without measuring all these goals you cannot expect the goals to be success right so goals to become success now in measuring what criteria will be used to measure the achievement right the criteria to measure the goals right and the goals should be achievable performable right which are not achievable is not a goal those should be achievable and related now those goals should be related with your cooperation if it is not related with your cooperation you cannot achieve as well you it's not related to your organization though so it should be related and uh, it should relate to the overall organizational objectives as well and then time frame the goals should be timely right those should be time frame right so these are the things that you should uh, achieve or you should make you know a sense of criteria for effective goals okay now i just expect to discuss about the mbo that is management by objectives in this lesson right how can you manage uh, your your organizational objectives by the management by objectives mbo right now first you have to set the goals anyway you set the goals in your planning and uh, you know planning stage and uh, then you develop the action plans right you see what are the practical side of or the practical facet of it how can you use them in your practice right you set goals then you develop the action plans right then you implement it right then you review the progress so what are the areas to be like corrected right uh, so likewise you review the progress 
then after you appraise overall performance you see what are the new improvements that you can do for the process right that is how the mbo happens management by objectives and whenever it comes to the turbulent or let's say the complex time complex times turbulent environments you must need contingency planning contingency planning is not a structured way of planning you are planning for uh, you know unknown situations right you deal with the consequences which are happening in your real life right you whatever the things that you experience you basically make some of the goals and objectives and you plan for new things based on whatever you experience for now right contingency or exigency planning then building scenarios is basically like brainstorming technique where you build some scenarios and think whatever the possible activities which you can perform in order to gain your you know to achieve your organizational objectives and also worst case worst scenarios we say the crisis plan the planning for the crisis right you feel like you imagine that you are in a different difficult situation where you are now from right so crisis planning planning for unstable situation unfavorable occurrences unfavorable situation is called crisis planning right so there are two ways of planning for the crisis one is crisis prevention the other one is crisis preparation where crisis prevention happens before the uh, both the happening before the cases right before the crisis crisis prevention is you are not getting the burden of the crisis without getting that you make some strategies to prevent your crisis right crisis preparation in the sense in some cases you can see some of the crises which are possible and which are not cancelable or which are not avoidable in that case you must be able to find out a solution in order to cope up with the crisis right how can you sustain once after you drop into the uh, let's say drop into the flood right you, you you even though if you can swim right that is like that right once you dropped into the situation in real how can you manage with that situation that is called crisis preparation right prevention is something like that where you can prevent from totally prevent from you are not getting the burden of it right so this is how you plan in turbulent environment especially when it comes to your SWOT analysis you can see strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats out of that and as well as pestle analysis external environment and internal environment so when it comes to the macro and micro environment we call it as micro as internal and macro as the externals right you can see how the 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 commercial world coming complex right so you have to deal with the turbulent environments as well okay so these are the things i expected to cover today uh, hope you understood about the goal setting and planning uh, section of this lesson and of course we are going to uh, you know uh, complete the uh, strategic uh, planning and organizing strategic implementations in our next session so thank you very much for joining us today